Hi there, Amy Seifert here coming from Northwest Ohio. I am a mom and a wife and a speaker and an author of the 100 Day Devotional Grace Looks Amazing on You. And today's verse comes from Colossians 3.16 that says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thanksgiving in your hearts to God. So in this passage, Paul is talking to us about our identity in Christ and what that looks like. And he uses this word dwell. He says, let God's word dwell inside of us. If you dwell somewhere, you're not just visiting. Like if you go on vacation, you pack a few things, you stay a few days, and then you come home. But when we moved a few years ago, we packed up a bazillion boxes and we moved everything into our new home and then we hung up art and photos and we arranged furniture and we we moved in to our new home and Paul says in the same way let God's word move into your mind and your heart you might be in God's word but is God's word in you I love that Dallas Willard says one of the best spiritual practices we can have is to meditate and memorize God's word because then it's always with us wherever we go on the subway, in the grocery store, at work, it can't be taken away from us. And so memorizing scripture feels like hanging up valuable art on the walls of our valuable heart, right? So what does this look like? Paul says, Sing is a great way to get God's truth in you. Sing songs and, and worship songs and psalms that really highlight God's truth because then it becomes a soundtrack to your day. And then he ends with thanksgiving. He says, practice thankfulness to God, which thanksgiving means that we thank a giver. And he says, give thanks to God. Focus on him. He's the giver of good gifts. So today, I just want to encourage you, take one verse and move it into your heart and your mind. Hang it up like an inspiring painting and come look at it often and see what richness it brings into your life.